Welcome to Connor's Kitchen Chemistry, and today we are doing elephant's toothpaste. For this, you're going to need 30% hydrogen peroxide, dishwashing detergent, potassium iodine, and if you want to throw in a fun twist, some food coloring. And for our procedure here, we're going, you're going to want to put our flask here in the middle of the little tray. That way you can catch all the fallout of this reaction, which is going to be quite a bit here. And in there, we've actually got 100 milliliters of 30% hydrogen peroxide. We've got some food dye, and we've got our two squirts of dishwashing detergent. And, well, there's nothing left but to do this reaction and pour our potassium iodine in. notebook here but pretty cool reaction we got there and time to move into the science and the kitchen aspect of it well, we're going to start with our kitchen here it's just our 30 percent hydrogen peroxide the dishwashing detergent potassium iodine and some food coloring you're going to want to combine all of these first and well no we're going to want to combine these three first and then this is going to be your catalyst here and it's going to start the reaction so these three first, and then put that in. And to move into the chemistry aspect of it, our formula is the hydrogen peroxide, which is chemical formula H2O2, plus our potassium iodine, which is Ki, and this will transform into water and oxygen. It's an exothermic reaction. Why it can't really be conveyed through video, even while I was pouring that in, I can feel the temperature rising on my finger just holding the glass. And it's a decomposition reaction because it all it turns one substance into something new or even multiple things just off of one thing being in there. In fact, our formula may be quite a little flawed because this actually, our potassium iodine, is a catalyst instead of an ingredient or a reactant in it. This is really the sole reactant because it's turning into these two things, making it a decomposition reaction. Well, I hope you enjoyed our episode of Connor's Kitchen Chemistry, and please come back. We'll be making more.